Hello, and here's exactly how you can play this workshop map in CS2. So I found that there were no good videos that really explain this. So I'm just going to show you how you can play a workshop map just like this one. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you must do is close your CSGO. So because the CS2, if you go to the workshop, like all these maps that are right here, they don't support support the CS2 version. They're still in the old version of CSGO. So that's why we need to download the map manually. And the map that I just played is from this Discord server. I'll leave a link in the description. You can join this Discord server and here you'll see the map. But you'll need to download the map instantly. So on YouTube and stuff, there are a lot of different uh, people that show their map, but the maps are still limited. So you can just download this one if you like. I know there are more videos and you'll just have to search it yourself, but you'll have to download the files. So let's say you want to download this map, then you click on download. Then if you go to this, your download will appear right here. So open up your download and make sure that you have it open in your file explorer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import this download to our Counter-Strike. And how we will do this is go to your Counter-Strike, go to Manage, and then go to Browse Local Files. And right here, we need to go to the following location. So when you're in this, you should go to Game, then go to CSGO, then go to Maps, and right here, you should see a lot of files with .vpk. If you don't see that, go to View, click on File Name Extensions, and make sure that you see the vpk files otherwise you're probably in the wrong map and right now open up your download where you have your dot vpk and just drag it in now i already have it so i'll just click on replace all right and now your map is successfully imported to cs2 now how would we load this map so we will do this by closing down everything then you go to cs2 and before we do that, we need to go to the properties and go to general because we need to add in a launch option. Otherwise it will not work. So what you're gonna do is right here, you're gonna type minus insecure like this. I-N-S-E-C-U-R-E. -E. Well, you're just gonna type this and this basically means that you are, you're not able to play a competitive match, but then you're able to play a workshop map. If you don't do that, then it doesn't work, I already tried, so you must do that. Now, just open up your CS2 like normal, click on play. Okay, and when your CS2 is loaded, before we go into the game, press on your uh, developer console. So if you don't have that, go to settings, game, then enable developer console and yes, and go to your UI keys. Here you see the key that you need to press. So press on that key, it's usually under the escape. And before we do anything, just type in SV cheats and then space and then type one, press on enter. And now cheats is enabled. If you don't do this, it uh, doesn't work. So right now we're gonna launch the map and we can do this by typing the following. So you're gonna type map and then you're gonna type the map that you've just downloaded. So in my case, the name is CS2 warmup underscore refrag. And when you type that, you press on enter. And right now, as you can see, we're loading. So this may glitch because it's still like it's still not fully developed so as you can see i keep loading another time and this may happen a few times to you before you can actually shoot people or you may have any lag spikes or that features of this doesn't work but this is because cs2 is like still in in the beta so the workshop mobs still are a little bit glitchy as you can see uh yeah this is a normal map if i go to guns i don't know how this works oh I can choose some guns. So it's actually a pretty cool map, but let's say that this doesn't work for you and you really know that you did everything right, then I will have a second solution for what you can do. So if this didn't work for you, then you need to get out of your map and then do the following. So what we're gonna do is go into the settings and then go to game and right here, go to yeah, go to the top and here you should see install counter -shop, shop workshop tools. Make sure that you click on yes. And once you've done that, you can close down your CS2. Now, make sure that you have your map still installed. And actually with this, you don't need to have this in your CS2. 
So you can uh, remove that if you'd like. And right now when you click on play, you need to click on Counter-Strike 2 Workshop Tools, click on play, and then you should see this. So basically you just uh, click on this, this button right here, and you should open up like this sort of uh, workshop tool thing. I think this is how they create the workshop maps. I honestly don't know, but I just saw somebody, somebody loading their map like this. All right, so this may take a long time to load, and you may see this little thing, just close everything down that you see like this all right and once it has been loaded like this it may be a little bit laggy um, and that's because of the yeah of all the tools that you're going to do so if you click on the console it will open like this it's a little bit different but same thing scenario types map cs2 warm up refrag press on enter okay so it took a little bit of time to load but as you can see i'm now in the map and yeah, it uh, glitches again. I guess this is with every map or at least with this map. Okay, now I'm fully loaded. So let me just try to shoot some people. As you can see, the map now works. Maybe it's a little bit more laggy on this client. But if this works for you, then I just try it. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'd say thank you for watching.